This is a parabola. Its equation is given by y square is equal to 4ax. And we are required to find out the area enclosed between this parabola and the x-axis. This area shown by this shaded space. We need to find the area between x equal to x1 and x equal to x2, the x-axis and the parabola. We will use make, make use of the integration and in the process learn about the physical significance of integration. Let's say we don't know any calculus, any integration and we still need to find an approximate area. What we will do? We can divide this section into many vertical strips from x1 to let's say let's say x1 to x2, x2 to x3, x3 to x4, x5 to x6 and so on and so forth. We will take first strip, calculate the value of y here because this will be and assume that it's a rectangle like this rectangle. Right at the center of this we can find the value of y which will be a very good approximation and then we can calculate this area. Then we calculate the next area and the next area and so on and so forth and then we add all those areas that can give us the area under this curve. This is how a modern computer will do and could possibly do for any general curve. The problem is this method will have some error and the amount of the error will depend upon how how big is the area we take. The more the segment we have the better is the result. But we can make use of the integral calculus. What we do is we take a very small strip at a distance x on x axis and focus on this small small uh, small section of this strip. It has dx width and let's say its height is y. It makes a rectangle and we are focusing on finding out the area of this rectangle because it's very small area we call it dA and the area of this segment is given by dA is equal to y into dx the small area dx. This is how we tackle all these problems like this. We focus on a very small segment and we try to find out the final value of that using this small differentials. And then we know that the, the total area is given by the integral of this whole dA from x equal to x1 to x equal to x2. We call dA is y dx. This y fortunately is a function of x. It varies as x varies. And if we could express this y in terms of x, our problem becomes easier. We know y square is equal to 4ax, so y is equal to square root of 2ax. We can write it as square root of 4a into square root of x. a is a constant, so square root of 4a, and x to the power of 1 by 2, when integrated, gives x to the power of 1 by 2 plus 1, which is 3 by 2, divided by n plus 1, which is 3 by 2. And the limits of this integration is from x equal to x1 to x equal to x2. Square root of 4 is 2, 2 square root of a, 3 by 2 becomes 2 by 3, x2 to the power 3 by 2 minus x1 to the power of 3 by 2. You can simplify it to make it 4 square root of a by 3 into x2 to the power 3 by 2 minus x1 to the power of 3 by 2. So this is how you are going to tackle a problem like finding area under a parabola but you can extend this for any general problem. Let's say, let's do another example of finding the area in this parabola and if the, a parabola like this will be represented by an equation x square is equal to 4ay. It's symmetrical about the y-axis because the value of x, value of y for a given 
x and a given minus x is same. So do to find the area between this curve, between this point and the x-axis shown by the shaded area, we again take a small strip of infinitesimal width dx and height y. And the area of this small segment is given by dA equal to y into dx. So dA is equal to and y is given by x squared divided by 4a. Continue to find the whole area, we write a is equal to integral of dA is x squared by 4a. x squared when 4a is a constant, so it comes out. And x squared differentiation is x cubed divided by 3. You can substitute the value to get 1 by 4a x2, x2 to the power 3 minus x1 to the power of 3 divided by 3. Or we can simplify it to 1 by 12a into x2 to the power 3 minus x1 to the power 3. We can extend this problem. We'll do one more slightly slight variation of this problem to show you how to find the area between two curves. This is one example, but we can have similar examples to do. We need to find out the area enclosed between this parabola given by the equation x squared is equal to 4ay and a straight line that has an equation y is equal to mx. This straight line and this parabola obviously are intersecting at one point here x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 and another point somewhere here. We need to find out the shaded area enclosed between these two points. To do this we first find the area enclosed between this straight line and the x-axis. To do this, we consider a small strip again like this one. And first we find the area between this point, this strip between the straight line and the x-axis. And then we find the area between this curve and the x-axis. And then we subtract these two areas to get the net area dA between this curve and x-axis and this curve and x-axis. So we write it as dA is equal to y1x, which is y1 is the equation of this straight line, minus y2x, which is y2 is the equation of this parabola, multiplied by the small thickness t. y, the straight line, is written as mx, minus y2 is the parabola given by x squared divided by 4a. And then the whole area is given by the integration of dA which is equal to x when integrated becomes x squared by 2 minus this x cubed by 12a. When simplifying, we can get something like this. Let's say the intersection point is at x equal to x1 and this is the area of this whole curve. We can find the intersection point by solving for the equation x squared is equal to 4ax and y is equal to mx. The intersection point of these two are solved by solving these two equations. There are two variables. We substitute the value of y equal to mx here over here, 4a into mx. And when we do that, we get x equal to 4am. We can substitute the value of x1 here at the intersection point and that will give us the area in terms of a and m. So this is an example of how we can solve a general problem of area between a parabola and a straight line. You can use a similar thing for finding the area between a para two parabola, between a parabola and a circle for example or any other general curve.